Space, the final frontier of mankind, is mind-bogglingly big. But will it ever be possible to travel throughout space like in the popular sci-fi franchises Star Wars and Star Trek? Einstein's theory of general relativity states that nothing with mass or information can travel faster than the speed of light, and this is 671 million miles per hour. Now, with current manned spaceflight being much slower than this, at around 100,000 miles an hour, this means that even our closest stars to our solar system are at a travelling distance of tens of thousands of years away. Han Solo and other pilots in the Star Wars universe engage in faster than light travel by entering hyperspace. Hyperspace, at least in Star Wars, is the ability to open doors into tunnels of another dimension which are used as shortcuts. In these tunnels, the rules of physics are different to those in this reality, and therefore, the speed of light rule does not have to be broken within our physics. Within the physical limitations of our universe, similar topological events are possible, and these are termed wormholes. Although no wormhole has ever been observed, the maths behind their existence fits nicely into every mathematical equation in which they are considered. Professor Stephen Hawking, amongst other physicists, have even suggested that these could provide traversable passageways should they actually exist or their artificial creation be possible. Star Trek approaches faster than light travel in a slightly different way. Warp technology is utilised on board all of their starships to achieve travelling great distances in a relatively short amount of time. Warp, as an existing principle of our physical knowledge, consists of creating a bubble of negative energy that engulfs the starship. This bubble then displaces space-time from in front of the bubble to behind the bubble, much like water through a propeller. But instead of this propelling the starship forward, it displaces space-time without the starship moving at all. This eliminates the need for the ship to travel faster than the speed of light, as it is space-time that is moving. This bubble also protects from the time dilation effects that are predicted to come with faster than light travel. This is because the ship itself isn't moving. A warp bubble contains a region of flat space in which the time passes at the same rate as it would here on Earth. This may seem more far-fetched than hyperspace and wormholes, but warp bubbles have been observed right here on Earth. Scientists are able to create warp bubbles and observe their effects on subatomic particles. The problem for human space travel occurs when scaling this experiment up into real terms. However, recently, NASA scientists have been able to reduce the amount of power required for a ship to enter warp to near-achievable levels. Given that the science behind both methods of faster-than-light travel exists in principle within our current knowledge of physics, it isn't unreasonable to expect that humans may be able to expand the reach of mankind and boldly go where no man has gone before. <laughs>